All right, so I don't know about you guys, but majority of yesterday I spent inside of MVG Sandstorm stream where a huge tournament in Arizona was going down. A lot of big names in Smash 4 and Melee, so Leffen, Armada, Mango, Mewtwo King, Zero. A lot of these big names came to where Arizona, oh, and my boy Nairo, can't forget my dude Nairo, shouts out. Shout out to Nairo. Anyways, um, a lot of these guys went down to Arizona to compete in this tournament and it was MVG's first time apparently hosting a tournament of this caliber. Now, due to the size and the nature of it and just it being their first time in general, you can't necessarily just expect things to be perfect off the bat, although there were a lot of issues to point out. Even in the little bit of time that I was there, I was only in there for day two, only like three or four hours. So I wasn't exactly there for the entirety of the whole thing, so I didn't see the plethora of issues unfold right there. But just for the time that I was there, four hours, I saw a lot of things wrong. Like the first thing that we can talk about, and I'm not trying to say this to shit on people, but there's just certain things that I just wanted to bring up about this whole thing that happened yesterday since there was so much attention being brought onto it, and I felt like I wanted to give my two cents on it just to give you guys a little bit more of a different perspective and maybe ease some of you guys trying to tear this tournament down or tear down the host because in all honesty you guys can't expect perfection from one of the first times that this venue has really been hosted in such a like I mean come on anyways so from the time that I was there, I noticed that the stream wasn't exactly at the same quality as some of the more experienced hosts were, like VG Bootcamp or Clash Tournaments. I mean, it was the 60 frames, but it just wasn't as crisp or as clean. So, hey, that can be excused. I mean, it was definitely still watchable, and a lot of people were complaining about the stream quality. I don't think that's really something that you should focus on too much because that'll improve as time goes on. More experience with this kind of thing, eventually you'll get the hang of it. I mean, I had similar issues as well, too, with my streaming, and now my shit is as clean as ice, so I mean, you gotta give them some credit there. But there were a lot of other issues too on the technical side of things, a lot of unprofessionalism as well too. And I'm not bringing these up to the spotlight just to criticize the venue and the TOs and whatnot, but j just to share where I feel like people should stand with this whole thing. Now, of course, your opinion is your opinion, but in all honesty, we have to look at this with some kind of rationality, you know what I mean? Um, for the time I was there, there were multiple times that the stream went down in one way or another, and during the end, during the grand fucking finals, <laughs> oh man, the grand finals. I mean, I think a lot of you already know what I'm talking about. Um, I was actually in, I was, I was in the chat all day. A lot of you guys most likely saw me in there losing my mind. But in the grand finals, it just so happened that the damn tournament power i don't know if it was a power outage or something i don't know if it, i don't know exactly what it was per se and i wasn't there myself of course so i'm not exactly 100 percent fully versed in this but apparently some kind of power outage went down and the tournament's um gamecube just totally shut off for some i don't i don't know what happened man it was insane so while so while freaking west balls and armada were going at it out of nowhere the freaking tournament like like basically the stream stayed up but the GameCube and the power on the television disappeared. The craziest part about this is that even though Armada was in the lead with how many matches he took from the set, at the same time, West Balls and Armada on that very in that match was already at one stock each, and I think West Balls was in the lead. He kind of shocked everybody showing up so well in the tournament. I mean, he still came in second place, but very impressive showing by West Balls, who no one expected to be there in the first place. Um, you shouldn't say that the tournament really is like playing badly, because I mean, I don't want it to be seen as if West Balls was bad. I feel like he was really on point. Um, definitely not someone that anyone expected to be up there, but I mean, still, it was a little bit crazy that the power to the GameCube or the TV or whatever the case may be, I think it was a GameCube, just shut off like that. And on top of it all, there were a lot of things that happened in day one that were really seen as unprofessional too. Apparently there was arguing going on on the mic as well and then the, the announcers didn't even know it. And there were a lot of issues about the TO and the management and whatnot. And there's a whole lot of stuff that was going wrong with the whole thing. And I feel like even though we should acknowledge these mistakes, we should point at them and highlight them so that way these things don't happen again. You shouldn't really crucify the people who held this tournament or organized anything. And I don't think many people are doing that. I mean, there are some, of course, there are some deviants who definitely will do so. But I feel like we should all just you know, take a step back and relax a little bit. Let's look at this for what it was. To be honest, even though it was one of their first times hosting such a massive tournament, Mewtwo King said this himself. You know, he wants there to be a lot more spotlight on MVG. He feels like the Smash community can blow up off of it. And, you know, they manage multiple streams at once i feel like they did a damn good job considering well well maybe not a damn good job but i mean they <laughs> maybe we should reach back to... i mean yeah okay maybe saying a damn good job was a little bit 
of an overstatement. I mean, there was at one point that Zero and Mewtwo King were paired together and their name as a team was something like, don't be mad at us because we're autistic. I don't know the exact name. Let me see if I can pull it up real quick. I mean, but it was really messed up stuff. Stuff that you wouldn't really expect to be going down in a tournament of this caliber where things are usually PG, family friendly, and you know, esports. So it was a little bit weird there. Yeah, here we go. The name was Don't Hate Us Because We're Autistic. And that was their forced name for the majority of the tournament. To be honest, that left a bad taste in my mouth. And not necessarily because I'm autistic, but just for the fact that it just, it just, it, it, it didn't sit well with me. Like it didn't, it, it was making fun of a condition which a lot of people just don't have control over. And I mean, a lot of people can joke about this stuff on the internet because they don't have any face, they're anonymous. But when it comes to real life shit and talking about that stuff in person, talking about that stuff with an actual opinion and not just trolling of the internet going around, I feel like that was a really messed up thing to do. But hey, at the end of the day here, I was just a viewer and from what I saw, the stream wasn't perfect. But if they're saying that it's pretty much the first time the MVG has done something up to this level, then I mean, hey, we should be willing to overlook the whole thing. One other thing that definitely has to be talked about as well is the way the chat was managed. Now, I was in the chat heavy. A lot of you guys, like I said before, may have seen me inside of the chat, and I was losing my mind in there. One thing that I did see is that there really wasn't that much management of spam too much, and when there was, there was a lot of unjustified timeouts and bans going out. Like, I had gotten banned myself in the chat for a couple minutes until one of the other moderators in the chat saw that, and they were like, hey, who the hell banned Etika? Like, Obviously, this is a mistake. Let's unban him. Um, and I was just posting a lot. I mean, I was posting a lot of messages at one time, but they weren't really spam. And they were more of just me cheering for Nairo, trying to get some cheer going on. It, it was just me losing my shit, but I wasn't like spamming dicks in the chat or whatever. So, yeah, the chat management could have definitely used an improvement. And there were a lot of, I mean, even though, even though the chat, it didn't have, let's see, because usually when I do my chat on stream and whatnot, my shit is filled with dicks to the from the bottom up but i mean in the mvg chat there wasn't really a problem with like text images and if there was then the mods were definitely on top of it but one thing i'll definitely say is that there wasn't really that much of a slowdown going on so the chat was just going insane at a million miles a minute usually and i felt like that was a little bit unprofessional as well too considering that this is a tournament venue like you know when it's in my own personal live stream i'm a fucking idiot myself i lose my mind in there but something like this which was esports definitely should have used a little bit more moderation and keeping things under control Maybe not the messages themselves, but just at the speed. It was happening really fast. Although there was a lot of slowdown put in after a certain amount of time. Like, you know, maybe like in the last two hours, but you know, beforehand it was just like, ugh. So at the end of the day, we have a stream that just made a lot of mistakes. A lot of issues and errors and problems and technical difficulties occurred during the two days that this whole thing went on. And most likely, hopefully speaking, they will not happen again. Because what happens when we make a mistake? We usually learn from it. And myself included, a lot of times I'm a little bit inaccurate, well, a little bit, a little bit inaccurate with my own information. But at the end of the day here, I do take that as a learning step. And this is one thing that we have to acknowledge will happen with this stream. This is one of their first times organizing something to this size. And as much as you want to criticize the TOs for doing the job, not as well as some other people have who are more seasoned, we have to give them some of the benefit of the doubt and say, you know what, you fucked up, you done goofed, but at the end of the day, you still have the drive to make an impressive event, and I feel like they can do so. All they need is another chance. Mewtwo King was saying this himself as well too, and some of you may not agree with his sentiments, but I'm one of the people that do, and I feel like MVG Sandstorm, even though the quality of the stream wasn't so bad, the management of the chat was horrible. The events organization in terms of the players and the brackets was a little bit off. The, the, the unprofessionalism was definitely there, and on top of everything else, the fact of the matter that they couldn't keep the stream constant and stable for, for most of the time, <laughs> just a laugh but at the end of the day these are all mistakes that i'm sure that they've acknowledged and they'll learn from and i'm sure they'll have better gear for next time uh, you know i know a lot of people are upset with this whole thing they kind of just want to make sure that mvg never hosts anything like this scale ever again and you know those people i suppose they have a legit argument you know if it could happen once it could happen again but I feel like there's a lot of potential with this whole thing. The numbers that the stream got were huge. And sure, that could be due to outside promotion and whatnot, but the numbers were still there. And I still had a great time in the chat myself too. It felt good being in a chat that was a little bit more unrestricted, although it could have used some restriction in some points. And of course, as usual, commentators were great. D1 was awesome. You know, always, always a classic there. But at the end of the day, I had a lot of fun. It was fun watching it with friends and it was fun watching it by myself. And I feel like we should all give MVG one more chance, one more chance to really prove themselves with an event like this. But that's my sentiments. 
Um, what are your guys' opinion on it? Because even though this video is talking about my point of view and my perspective, I really want to read what you guys' point of view and perspective is. Let me know what your experiences were like being in the chat. And if you were actually at the event, definitely share your experiences in the comments as well, too. I definitely want to get a little discussion going about this. And I know there's going to probably be a lot of flaming in the chat or excuse me, in the um, comments. And there's probably going to be a lot of strong opinionated thoughts, but we should all you know, look at this whole thing respectfully and kind of not be so willing to cut off a person's balls over you know, a few mistakes. I mean, hey, you know. You learn, you, you live and learn. That's the way life is, you know? If you, you, you wouldn't progress if you didn't make any mistakes and learn from them. So, hey guys, I'll talk to you in the next one. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.